What is up everybody? My name is Andrew and welcome back to our Space Engineers Survival Series on Pertam. This is episode number 46 and uh, and we're sitting here in the night. Last episode we worked a lot on the museum and it's looking really nice with all these uh, new shapes, I guess, and these new weapons. But one thing happened last episode, or in between the episodes, uh, one of the mods we were using was unsupported. Or not unsupported, but more like Weapons Core did not support that mod. And that is the one that added... <laughs> Whatever this gun was, the, the GAT 7s, the, the missile launcher that we had, that mod is not supported by Weapon Core apparently, so we have to exchange these weapons with something else because they were forcefully deleted. Um, so let's let's take a look at our weapons uh, and see what we have to offer. So the Akai defense uh, stuff is still supported um, because this is like a Weapons Core mod, it uses Weapons Core, but the other one, which is... Rave and Bolt, I think, is not supported by Weapons Core, so I can't use any of these guys right now. I have to use the Akai Defense stuff or the Vanilla stuff, which we can... I'm sure we can find a way to get away with. Oh my gosh, it's actually Missile Silo. That's kind of cool. I kind of want to add, like, a Missile Silo somewhere now. Because it has a range of 20,000 meters, so, like, I could add that in a little remote base over by that relay over there or something, and then I could just target something and the missile would launch all the way over and hit it. That would be really cool. Not this episode, though, but that would be something that we could do in the future. Okay, on this side, let's try this Jackal weapon. Apparently it's an energy weapon, so it fires energy stuff. I guess it has to charge itself up like a uh, like a, a railgun would, but let's give it a go. We're gonna get some motors and the rest of the stuff and we'll build it in here. For now, I think we're gonna place just two of these. Or, I mean, not just two of these, but we're gonna place two of these in the spots that our weapons are no longer there. Uh, and eventually we might come back here and work on this to make it like a bigger weapon or something, because there are so many weapons we could have with the uh, the Akai Defense Large, except all these are massive. So like uh, this one I think I thought was pretty cool. Um, I, I think it might uh, work well. The only problem is it's big. It's really big. It takes up uh, three by three space and it's massive up top as well. So we'd have to pretty much make a larger area for it to sit on and uh, and and yeah, then we could do it. Um, I also want to get into some of the missile stuff, but that would be a, uh, a bigger expansion. And this episode we're working on the museum. So let me put this uh, this weapon right here and then we should be ready to go. So, and there we go, there's our second one as well. So, uh, yeah, this is a museum episode, so we're gonna go down there in a second once it becomes daytime. Uh, for now, we're gonna go downstairs and check out how those weapons work and get them on our hotbar and stuff, so in case we get attacked by a Reaver, we'll be able to come back here, hop in those, and, uh, and, and start um, using them. Okay, so if I go ahead and control one of our things, oh my gosh, this is very bizarre. Okay, so we can't really aim down, which I think was has always really been a problem. We can aim in though, which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't really know what the range of this is, but let's fire off in that direction. Oh, it fires multiple like that, that's kind of neat. And I can see my ammo at the top, uh, top right. Oh, it overheats, that's what it is. Oh, okay, I understand now, okay. I wish I could get that blue overlay to go away because that's kind of a little bit annoying, but uh, I guess we work with what we have. Um, it uses a little bit of power. Every time I fire, I see in the bottom right it's, it's, uh, it's going up to nine from eight, but it doesn't use that much. Okay, that's cool. I'm excited to check that out whenever we get another Reaver, which apparently is not gonna be soon because um, uh, the combat phase just ended. Although one of you told me the combat phase is not really a Reaver thing, it's more just a Space Engineers thing, so I don't know if that means Reavers attack. Maybe it's been a coincidence that Reavers have always attacked in a combat phase. But anyway, with that out of the way, now that we have our two turrets, let's, uh, let's take our welding ship and head over to the museum, and that's what we're going to be working on for the majority of this episode. Uh, we're going to be finally getting that thing up and running uh, with all of its glory. Getting it some lights over there, getting some... I don't think we're gonna put weapons over there, even though maybe it should have them. But we're gonna get the entire thing uh, encased as well, which is gonna look nice. Okay, so since we're not using any heavy armor over by the museum, we might use a couple blocks, I don't know yet, but we can grab a little bit of this. We shouldn't need that much. 10k should suffice, like, t for total. Um, I wanna real quick see how much we have in, uh... actually, let me grab the rest of the stuff, then we'll see how much iron we have, and if we need to do an iron expedition, we'll, we'll do a quick one. Um, I'll grab a couple more power cells. Uh, so that we can build that stuff. I'll grab a couple motors as well because we're always a little low on motors All right quick check of how much iron we have no ores, but what about this? Uh, we have No more iron. Are we out of iron? Yeah, we are out of iron. Okay, let's go on a quick iron expedition before we do anything else then While it becomes sunlight. I just got to remember where it was. It was over here somewhere in this little Valley, I, th I think. Oh, we found it. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I, was, I was like where the heck was our iron? Oh no, it's in here, so we must have a little uh, hole that goes to it, right? All right, it's time to collect. 
Iron! As much as we can. All right, I think that's about good. We have uh, 422 plus 101, so that's about 523,000, uh, which is a lot. It looks like there's a storm raging outside, which is uh, probably fine. It's not that bad. Um, but we should have enough iron to last us for maybe a couple more episodes, which is always good. <laughs> okay, um, and we're not doing heavy armor at the museum anyway, so it's gonna, it'll be fine. Uh, let's head back to base, deposit this, and head over to the museum and connect there we go let's connect switch to recharge and that's a lot of iron for these things to to uh yoink okay anyway with the base back up and running let's go to the museum it's in a bit of a storm but it will still be fine let's head over there and we'll start uh start working on this stuff okay uh we're good i think let's go ahead and unlock why oh okay there we go so charge means recharge got it um, one of the mods I have, I think it's build tools or something like that, is changing the, the text, so it looks a little different for me. And I don't have that in another series I play on, so it's, it's a little weird. Uh, but anyway, let's head over to the museum, being a little careful not to run into stuff. We're just gonna keep our speed at a nice 25 <laughs> until we get over there. I feel like I'm getting blown away by the by the wind. That's gonna be so amazing. Imagine space engineers with, uh, with atmospheric effects like actual wind that'll blow your ship away uh, if you uh, if you get caught in it. That would be really awesome. Anyways, here's our museum. Not much is there. We have a, an opening, we have our ship right here, and we have a couple of rooms that we have planned out. That's pretty much it. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of design. I think we're gonna do some, do some design work first, and then we're gonna come in with this ship and build everything else. So let's go ahead and land this thing, uh, for starters, right here. I would really like for this this uh, storm to stop. But you know what I can do? I can actually build up some of the shell over here, which is like really mind-numbing work because it's not anything crazy. We're just gonna build a shell around this. Uh, and then I can come back when the storm has stopped. So let me do that. Okay, the storm has finally stopped. I've done a little bit of work on the uh, just the, the shell of the thing and I've got kind of a hangar look going on here uh, because most of the museum is gonna be like one floor right here. I might eventually go two floors and if I do, I'll find a way to, in, uh, to uh, integrate that with this hangar thing. But I kind of like the look of having it look like a hangar here. Now, that, there's not that much clearance on the inside. Uh, you can see right here, it's very, very tight. But um, I, I think it works. I don't want this to be too massive. So I, I think I like this this size hanger right here. Uh, if I wanted it to be a little less tight, I could move it up one block and that would make it, uh, or give it a little more clearance, but I think I'm fine with uh, with how we've got things going on here. The only thing that's not gonna fit is this uh, antenna, which we might leave a little hole for. I haven't really thought of that yet, but um, this is gonna be the final height of the hanger uh, right here. There we go. So you can kind of uh, see what it's gonna look like. The little side profile right here. Let's do the same thing on this side right here. Just get this all set up so that we have it uh, done. Uh, the other thing I will need to do is move this thing. I don't, oh, we're out of fuel. Okay, luckily we brought a little bit more fuel in our um, in our ship here. Uh, so I'll just exchange these guys for a couple of these guys. There we go. And let me take off my helmet as well because I don't need it to breathe. Um, I want to hop in this thing and see if this has power left. I don't know if it does. Oh, it does, but it can't really move. It's got a gyro, but it doesn't really have, oh no, it does have thrusters. So it can almost get itself out of this hole. Let me just gyro our way up into an upright position like that. And yeah, there we go. Okay, we're out of the hole. Awesome. Let's go ahead and park this thing. It's got one hour of power. So it's actually got quite a bit. I'll press Y right here and let's fix up this hole right here. We're out of steel plates. Where did our steel plates go? There our steel plates are. All right, let's build this up. And there we go. We just need to weld everything in. Then we have our first two museum pieces. This one is a little broken, so maybe we can refurbish that. But again, I might, uh, I think I've talked about this in a, in a previous episode. I might add uh, a color for every block that I refurbish, refurbish, uh, kind of like I did here. I think I added red for every block that I replaced um, on this ship. So uh, yeah, I might do that for all of them so that we can uh, can tell the difference. Okay, I think I might do something interesting with the windows. I might do like pop out windows. If I can go into my G, grab my rounded blocks because we're actually gonna use these for once. Uh, let me see what I can uh, figure out. So if I do something like, how many blocks do I have here? I could put little pop out windows like that, which, which should look pretty cool uh, and would allow people to kind of stare out at the area. I'll make them about that big. These are big windows by the way, but 
it'll, it'll look good in the end, hopefully. All right, there we go. Then we have a rounded windows like, window like that. And then what we could do at the top, if we are so inclined, is we could try and do some sort of curve in like this. Yeah, that would look pretty good. Like that, and then over here. And then finally, we could add that one back. Okay, so what you're going to end up with is when you're inside the actual museum, you'll have these windows that you can actually walk out to and you can look. You can view everything. Even you can look at the other person in the other window if you want. And we'll have these really cool... I think it'll look really cool. And we'll do the same thing on this side as well um, with, the, with the windows. Maybe we'll make them a little bigger actually because we have more space. Okay, so we'll have our threes right here as well, but they'll have a little bit more spacing. They have two block separation instead of the one block on the front, but I think that's going to be okay. It's, it's still going to look pretty good. Uh, with that. So let's build those up. All right, I've given it a look. Is it a good look? I don't know. Um, but basically it's got these same windows. So on the on every side, it's the same thing. You have these windows. They're separated by two, but this time you can also walk between them over here if you want to. Uh, and while you're walking between them, you can look up, you can look everywhere you want because these are all windows other than these blocks right here, which I don't really... If I had like a little archway block I could put right there, that would be really cool. But I don't have one to my knowledge that will curve like that. But um, I think it's looking pretty good. I like what we're doing with this. Um, let's start welding uh, just this little bit because I think I'm fine with this room. I, I like I like this, everything we have so far. So let's weld. So our thing is chock full of materials, which means it's gonna be a little weird to, uh, to uh, fly, but it should also allow us to weld most of this stuff pretty easily. Now I'm a little worried about being able to complete all the windows just because windows require a lot of uh, materials and I don't have the uh, a lot of bulletproof glass or girders. So I don't know how many windows we'll be able to complete. But steel plate wise, we should be able to complete every steel plate that we have so far. This does go pretty quickly actually. We've already welded most of the, uh, the stuff that we've just built. The floor we need to run through and weld. I'm a little worried about crashing into our ships which is why I'm being a little cautious with, uh, with doing the floor. These sides are a little easier to, to get. Okay, let's go over to this side and just see how many of these uh, windows we can do. I don't think we're going to get through that many, but... Let's see. Yeah, we didn't get through very many, did we? The floor is a freebie, though. <laughs> I mean, if I look at our steel plates right now, I bet we've not even gone through a thousand of them. Uh, let's see. Okay, no, we've gone through a couple thousand of them. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, yeah, okay, this is, this is going pretty well. We just need to go back to our base at some point and get a bunch of those because we don't have that many of them. We're out of steel plates! Finally! Okay, so now uh, we need to go back to base. We need to make sure we grab a bunch of girders and a bunch of bulletproof glass, uh, as well as a bunch of steel plates, obviously. But this is looking pretty good. Let's hop out of our ship. It's got 40 minutes of flight left, and let's see uh, what we've done. Um, yeah, so I'm liking this actually. I, I really like those windows. I think they look really good. Uh, we're gonna have to see about this bit right here once it's uh, once it's all welded up. I almost said once it dries. <laughs> no, once it's all, once it's all welded up, we'll have to see what this looks like. Hopefully, it looks good. But this I really like, and the outside view as well looks really good. Um, this right here I think looks pretty awesome, um, and it'll look pretty awesome as well from this side. I think uh, all these blocks that are kind of hovering right here, we'll eventually put like things under them so that it'll look like it's uh, it's on the ground. But yeah, I think our museum is coming along pretty well. Let's go get more blocks. And we are back. Let's just connect it to the base. There we are. Okay. Uh, number eight, number nine, so that it starts charging and we're good. I want to go to our base real quick, see how much iron we have. Uh, oh man. Okay. And we're still working too. How much iron do we have in here? Okay. No more in here. Um, actually, I think the only reason it went up is because I had a little bit of, uh, of broken... What's it called? Uh, scrap metal on there that this yoinked. So that's probably why it went up. Anyway, let's go to our production, Le Boss, and give it uh, another... I'm going to say another 20k of these, which is a lot. But it's not nearly as much as we have. Okay, so... And then also we want another 5k of those, and maybe another 5k of those. This will go at the end, because we already have some of this. We need this stuff, though. Uh, so let's let that produce for a little bit. And, uh, and yeah, it would be good. What the heck is this and when did we build it? Uh, guys, what is this? Do you, okay, so here's the thing. I record these episodes kind of, and if you're, if you're up to date, you probably know this. Um, I record these kind of infrequently. Um, and it's been months since I was back at this base. We probably built this before we built the, uh, the, the thing to, um, to go to space. And then we went to space and then we were on, uh, Triton, and then we were on space, and then we came back, and we haven't been down here since. So I don't know what this is, <laughs> or when we built it. So uh, if any of you have been binging the episode, please tell me what this is, and why we built this. 
and when we built this as well. Because this looks very bizarre. And I don't remember it at all. What happened here? Some of our blocks broke. I think they were probably shot by a reaver. What's that? Oh, an ember thing. Okay. Yeah, a reaver probably came over here and shot this stuff. All right, let's load up some more materials. So for our girders, we're going to grab another entire 1,700, 1,800. And for our these things, we're going to grab another entire 4,000 of those. Now for our steel plates, we'll grab a lot more. All right, I think we're ready. We have a lot of power on this thing. Oh, don't don't jump out of it. <laughs> Not while in flight. All right, we got a lot more materials for ourselves, and we should be good to head back over here and get started. Or not get started, but get get going again. Welcome back. All right, we have a lot of uh, a lot of things required for these windows, so let's go ahead and get these built up. See how they look, if they look good, or if they look bad. Let's find out. That one right there has to be on the outside, so don't worry about that. We'll see how it looks uh, once we get all these welded up. All right, let's see how it looks. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I wish this would look a little better. Like, I wish I didn't have to have this little curved piece like that. I wish there was some sort of block that could kind of find a way. Or maybe maybe it's not possible. I don't know. I think it would look cooler if this looked like a continuation. Okay, so like basically I would want it to not jut out like this. I would want it to instead come down angled like that or something. I don't, I don't know how it would look, but <laughs> yeah, it, it would look cooler, I think. But I don't think it looks bad. I, I think it looks fine. Um, okay, let's go back inside here and start working on some more of these steel plates on the floor. Apparently there are some blocks that are broken in here, so I'm just gonna go and fix these while we're here, because it's very easy with this ship. I don't want this- I don't- I don't want any smoking parts on this ship. The other ship up there can have some smoking parts, because it was literally destroyed by us. But all these smoking parts are, uh, from Reavers, uh, destroying this. Oh, is that not- Oh, okay, never mind, I just tilted the ship almost. Okay. All right, that's most of this room done. Uh, you can tell when we've placed these blocks by the color because I never really change my color before building stuff. I always paint afterwards. So any block that's gray like this were original blocks we placed and then blocks that are white like this we placed later. I'm gonna go ahead and paint all these to be our nicer, uh, our nicer clean color, which is using the clean armor. This, uh, this gray one is uh, apparently one we were using a long time ago. All right, there we go. There are all the welded blocks. Oh, not all of them, actually. We have just a couple more right here. And there are all the welded blocks now. Everything is in the same color as well, and this room is looking very clean, very, very uh, um, sterile. But anyway, yeah. So here's what this looks like. Uh, again, I wish I could curve this back over here somehow. I don't really know how to do that. But, um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty good. You can look out here. If you look over there, you can see that stuff. If you look over here, you see a mountain. It's a shame you can't see the Dune Power Bank, but I guess if we have a second floor, you might be able to see it just over this. No, you still can't see it. How high do you have to go to be able to see it? Oh, there's this. <laughs> this is like perfectly in the way, this giant mountain. Okay, so you can't see the Dune Power Bank any way you slice it. So the way I think we're going to do this is we might have something like, uh, like this in the areas we're going to have our ships. And I, like... Maybe right here, or maybe back that out one. We'll have something like this. So we'll have our first ship right here. Uh, so we'll move this over. Okay, I need to make it one bigger. But anyway, we'll do something like this, where we have the uh, where we have the blocks um, kind of like this. Oh, actually, no, I have a better idea. All right, what do you think of that? Like a little, this is just like a little bay now, so you can kind of park this thing inside it. I'll put it like a little skewed, so it looks neat, I guess. And then, uh, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and turn it off. And, uh, and there's our first exhibit. So we now have this ship right here. And in front of it, we'll have like an info panel or something that'll say some words about what this ship was used for and that sort of thing. Let's back it up just a little bit. Okay, there we go. We fixed it. So it should be back in full operational order. And I made these orange so that we know which blocks we have refurbished, refurbished since uh, the reavers attacked. Okay, so our first exhibit's right there. Our second one's gonna have to be a little bit bigger because it's this thing. <laughs> This was, of course, our first, this was our first miner that we built, and we were always afraid at the start of this series to build a miner because uh, we were worried that um, the gravity was too high for any sort of uh, thrust. Now this thing, however, is actually our respawn pod, and I don't know if we ever renamed it. Uh, oh, we named it First Rover. Basically, this was our respawn pod. When we originally spawned into the series, we had this thing, and we turned it into a, uh, a ship. And we used it for a long time. This thing actually broke many times. We, we got into a couple crashes with this thing. But um, 
it stayed in one piece mostly. I mean, we're missing a light over there, but yeah. There's actually no battery even on this one. I'll have to go back in the series and find out where the battery was for that, but I think we're just gonna have our our first exhibit only this time, and then we'll we'll uh, add this one later once we know where the battery's supposed to go. Okay, next let's head over into our first patron room. These are our two patron rooms. This one right here is for every patron, and this one right here is for patrons with the legend status. I've already reached out to them, and I, in this episode I'm gonna put the stuff that I uh, I got back in these rooms. It's pretty cool because I've given each of them, uh, the legend uh, status patrons, a three by three by three space to put whatever they want in it. And some of them chose ships uh, to to display on like a, a hollow deck thing. So we'll put those in here. Um, once we get to that. But first let's work on the basic Patreon room. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some sort of TV. Cause the idea that I have here is that I'll just put all the names on like a TV, which will look kind of cool. Okay, it's gonna be pretty basic. We're just gonna have eight LCDs like this and every name will have some spacing or something. Like maybe we'll have three names to one or two names to one. And depending on if we get more patrons, uh, they'll we'll space them accordingly when we need more. So uh, let's go in here with the ship and let's start building. It's starting to become nighttime a little bit, so maybe now would be a good time to do our lighting pass as well. All right, that's the floor, and then these should be a piece of cake because we have a bunch of materials on board. So we should be able to get these all welded up online, 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 and online. Good to see. Okay, uh, let's build up the uh, let's build up the top of this as well, just so we can weld it in because we are here after all. All right, there we go, looking good. Okay, so the way I'm gonna do this for the uh, for the patrons, and we might eventually add another one up there, but the way I'm gonna do this is everyone who's been a patron at all uh, from the start of this series, which was back in 2021, to now, is going to get their name on here. Uh, because this is the first Patreon-related thing we've done all series, so uh, it would only be fair to take everyone from the start of the series to now. So let me go ahead and grab all the names, and I'll plop them on here, and uh, and, and yeah. All right, here we go. All the names are in. If you are watching this and were a patron during the time between uh, 2021 and now, uh, please let me know because I may have missed your name, but I think I have everybody. Uh, so there we go. And uh, yeah, we're going to make this room a little nicer as well. We're going to add some seating maybe so you can sit and look at the names or you can look at the window or you can look at maybe we'll put like a little TV and I'll be running some fairly odd parents or something. I don't, I don't know what do people watch these days. But anyway, yeah, this is going to be what the room's going to look like. And I think it's a it's a good it's a good thing. Um, I feel a little bad because I haven't used the names very much, the patron names, because that's one of the tiers is you like use the names in the video and that sort of thing. And I haven't really used them. So this is a good way to thank all the patrons. Thank you, everybody who is a patron. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel and everyone who's not a patron as well. Thank you as well for supporting the channel. Just your view and your like and your comment are all, all the support I need. But if you care to support a little more, of course, Patreon is down below in the link, to, link in the description and you'll have your name on here as well. Um, unless you want something a little more uh, substantial, <laughs> then uh, let me point you down to the, the legend tier. <laughs> okay, I went ahead and added some windows on both the Patreon room and the legend room over here and I think they look pretty good, although they are completely different sizes from the rest of them. I wish I could have done um, the same size here but I, I didn't know how to fit it in. Although we, I guess we could have done one, two, three, and then nothing, and then one, two, three. Okay, I think this looks a little bit better with them uh, evenly separated and the same size. And they're the same size as these ones. We just have this weird gap right here that I don't really know what to do with, but I mean, what are you gonna do? I think it looks, uh, looks better. Wait, do we have any for this? Oh yes, awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, that's looking better. Uh, let's do some detailing inside this room. Okay, it's starting to become daytime, but I've got the uh, the design I have going on here. It's just kind of like two little lounges in this room, which I, I kind of like. Um, we gotta go build everything up though, which is gonna be fun. Let's hope we have all the materials. All right, here we go, little lounge rooms. Uh, they're pretty nice, they have little chairs. You can look out the window and stuff. And uh, this one's got drinks. This one over here has uh, a jukebox. So, yeah, you can play some songs. All right, let's get into this room and weld in a couple of these blocks. I went and refilled my uh, steel plates, so I now have a bunch of them. Uh, we should be good for the rest of the build, hopefully. As well, as far as steel plates go, at least. All right, I've ended up using most of my steel plates, but as a result, we've got a lot of this stuff welded in. You can still see a couple of unwelded blocks over there, but all these walls over here are welded, and the walls uh, in between here are welded as well. So it's all pretty much uh, welded. Everything we're, we're kind of working on right now. 
uh, is welded. Oh, except for apparently some of these. <laughs> um, okay, let's get down here. Let's get the uh, the legend rooms in. So I reached out to all the people with legend status or who have had that status. That's a uh, that's a patron tier. Um, uh, who have had that status since the start of the uh, this this particular series, uh, and two have gotten back to me so far with designs that they wanted inside their three by three by three space, and two have not gotten back to me or will be getting back to me in the future. So uh, I'm gonna put the two that have gotten back to me in here, and then at a later date I'll go and put the the two who have uh, not sent anything yet uh, stuff. So let's uh, let's land this thing right here and let's get this stuff imported. So for anyone wondering what a 3x3x3 three 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 space looks like, it's pretty much this. Um, so it's quite a bit of space. No, I mean, not crazy amount, but still, you can do some stuff with it. Um, in fact, these are in a 3 by 2 by one space, so you can do, you know, you can make like a seating area, or you can uh, put like a ship that you like or something like that. I think the two that got back to me did put um, ships that they built themselves uh, up. So if the ship is small enough, I'll, I'll literally put it in here. If it's uh, too big, I'll put a projector and you'll see the ship floating. So uh, let's see how big they are. Okay, so I'm using creative tools to spawn in this ship right here, and it looks like this one right here by Mr. Free MF Hugs, one of our legend status uh, patrons, is um, small enough to fit inside here. So we're actually going to put the ship in here. Uh, I'll put it on a rotor, I think. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to connect it. Maybe a block down there I'll connect to the rotor, and then it'll basically just be right there. We can spin it around if we want to, and it's it's a perfect size for this. So uh, thank you, for Mr. Free MF Hugs, for the support, and uh, your ship will be in here as soon as I get a rotor. <laughs> All right, there we go. There's our first one. It's now on a rotor and it's uh, spinning slowly. And we have a button right here that'll stop the rotor if we want it to stop spinning. And uh, yeah, we can just look at it. There we go. There's our first one. All right, we're going to get our second one in here. Now, our, our second one, I think, might be a little too large. Let me real quick check, though. What's the name of this? Ooh, yeah, this one's just a little bit too large. And by a little bit, I mean, like, it's it's like double the space. <laughs> but, um, okay, so what we're going to do for this one, then, we're, is we're going to put it on a projector, and uh, it's going to project it above, just like that, about the same size as that right there. So let's get a little projector thing. And I think we're going to use the, uh, what are they called? Uh, tape, planning table? Okay, there we go. That might be about the best I could do with the projection. I wish there was a way for me to change the opacity so it was a little bit uh, brighter, uh, but that's probably as much as I can do. Um, but anyway, this is for Orvashana. Thank you very much for your support, and uh, and I hope you like this. If you have something that you want me to add that's that's physical like this one, then feel free to add that and I'll replace it. Uh, but for now, this this is this is a good one. Okay, let's uh, let's add a light on top. I think uh, so. Let's get this normal color right here, and what I want to do is I want to go out one on each of these. And we're going to add a spotlight. All right, what do we think? Eh, it's not bad. Let me, can I change this a little bit? Can I bump up the... All right, here we are, our legend room. This one has a lot of lights on it, which is why it's very... You know what? Actually, maybe I'll lower the lights on that one so it looks better in the entire room. Oh yeah, the intensity is way up. We're, we're lowering the intensity all the way down to the lowest that it can possibly be, and we're lowering the radius a little bit. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want it to wash out the entire room light. I like this light up top showcasing, and I like that light up top showcasing as well. So, um, so yeah. Okay, one other thing I wanted to do with these rooms, and I don't know how easy this is going to be, but I wanted to uh, go in here and add some window frames. All right, there we go. We now have little cases for them. I think it looks pretty good. It looks way better, I think, with the cases than without, because it looks more uh, more like they're enclosed in in their own little shrine, which I like. Uh, we can, we have room here, we can put a button here if we want to, to, uh, I don't really know what we can do with a button on a projection, but we could do something. We could turn it on and off, I guess. For this one, we can spin it, um, and yeah. Unfortunately, I can't place anything here now, though, because the window is in that way. I can only place things here, which I might, I could maybe put like a couch here or something, I don't know. There we go, a little bit of room to look out at the storm as it passes, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, I like this room. You know, while we have steel plates, let's go outside real quick and do this, uh, this bottom here. Because it doesn't look that great on stilts. I think we're going to put it on normal blocks. So let's go ahead and get, uh, we'll do half blocks for this because it doesn't need to be crazy, uh, crazy realistic here. All right, I really like this look that we have going here. It's, it's kind of like, um, it kind of goes in a little bit. So we're using half blocks instead of holes. So we save a little bit of stuff, which is nice. Um, but then, yeah, I like, I like what, it, what we're doing on the outside as well. Oh no, we've run out of steel plates. Well, we got most of it done. Uh, I'll take you on a little tour of the outside. Look at that. There we go, the bottom of the museum. Doesn't look half bad, right? I think it looks a lot better than it did before, just on stilts. But anyway, yeah, we're getting there. 
It's definitely getting there. It's actually looking like a building now instead of just a little platform like it was at the start of this episode. All right, it's starting to become nighttime again, but I think we're about to head out to the uh, to the base again. There's one last thing I want to do in this episode for the museum, uh, and we're not going to get the entire museum done this episode. I'll either do an off-camera time lapse of the rest of the exterior, or I'll do uh, next episode. We'll start with it or something. Uh, but one thing I want to really do that I've I've been looking forward to a little bit is um, I've wanted to have like some sort of cafe coming off the ship because I'll show you why actually uh, when we get to the the uh, museum. Okay, so when you go inside the ship, uh, by the way, let's see if this still works. Yeah, okay. So that actually turns on the uh, the projector of what the ship used to be before we uh, destroyed it and shot it out of the sky. But anyways, when you go onto the ship for the first time and walk up this thing through the projection, um, there's this area right here. Uh, so that's the main ship, but there's this area in the back that's pretty much empty. And I thought it'd be cool if you walk through here and there's like a little cafe and you could like Watch the rest of the base if you have voxel settings on high <laughs> instead of medium like me. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it'd be a pretty cool cafe thing uh, to have. You could like little like drink a, a coffee, eat a scone or something while you visit the ship. This is a cool little museum feature, I think. So let's try to do that. Is that a fake block? Yes, it is. <laughs> something kind of like this, just like a little platform. It'll be enclosed as well, so this will come out to meet it somehow. I don't really know how yet. All right, this kind of looks epic in the uh, in the storm, but yeah, that's kind of what we're going for. It's it's an enclosed area. It will uh, you'll be able to hang out here, and it'll pretty much have views of everywhere because you'll be able to have windows on all of these sides. So it'll be pretty neat. There'll be a little railing so you don't fall off down to there. I don't know if we'll have railing here, but we'll have something. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get the ship. I don't know if we can get the sh the uh, ship to go in here, but maybe we'll manually do some of these. Can I get through here? Oh my gosh, if I can get through here, then we're we're cooking with fire. Cooking with gas. Cooking with charcoal. <laughs> cooking with napalm. Alrighty, this is looking pretty good. I don't think I missed any. No, I didn't. Oh, I missed a couple. <laughs> this is looking pretty good, though. And I bet you I missed the ones on the other side as well. Oh, we need another gyro on this thing. Nope, the ones on the other side are good. Okay, can we sneak through here? Would you let me? Yes, awesome. Okay, cool. When your cafe ends up looking like a controlled tower. Uh, right, so we're getting there. Let's head inside and see if we can get some tables set up. Alright, our little cafe is coming along. We have a bunch of tables and uh, a couple of seating areas over here. That should look pretty nice once we get them set up. Okay, please say hello to our nice cafe. It's, uh, it's well lit and everything. And it looks pretty nice. It's, it's got some seating. You can sit here if you want to. Look at the ship. You can warm up by the fire. Or you can look out the windows at the base or at the... Wow, that... You know, it just occurred to me. Our base is very far apart. That's our base. That's our uh, our fort over there. And we're all the way in the museum. And all the way over there is our dune power bank. It's kind of cool how we, uh, we kind of split everything apart. You can sit out here. Look at the planets. Do, do whatever you want. There's a nice place where you can make food and stuff. They're serving drinks. Uh, make an omelette, serving more drinks, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, cafe. Um, but anyways, I think we're gonna end the episode there. It's been going on for quite a quite a bit. We did quite a bit of work to the museum. I wanted to get it complete this episode, but it's a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. So next episode, we'll probably either have it complete or we'll complete it next episode. So, um, so yeah, uh, that's gonna be the end of this one. Um, what did we do this episode? The, the cafe, we did the shell of the museum, so it's now actually looking more museum-like, and actually we'll, we'll probably make a, uh, a, a bottom part to this so it doesn't look as bare. The entrance could use some work probably, the main room could use a little bit of work, we need to get that guy uh, powered again and get him uh, working again. We've got the patron rooms, this is the uh, the main patron room with just all the patrons that have been patrons for the entire uh, duration of the, of the series. Or not the entire duration, but at some point in the duration of the series. And then we've got the Legend Room as well, showcasing uh, Mr. MF Freehug and Orvishana's uh, builds right here. So yeah, kind of awesome. Awesome stuff. I really like where this is going. Um, but anyways, if you guys like that episode, please hit the like button. Put any comments, suggestions down in the comments section for what we should do with the museum and what we should do next episode. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineer Survival on Pertam.